campus, plenty is going on. It's the highlight of the calendar this week's Disability Awareness Week. The Leeds Young Talent Festival is on, so there are six young people, all with learning disabilities, who are taking part in a talent competition. Everything from singing to dancing, all sorts going on. They're all warming up, just getting ready to start the show in a few moments time. You may even, if you look very closely, spot a familiar face. See you in a sec. DJ for tonight's event. Gotta be honest, cracking songs, Ollie. How are you finding tonight so far? I know it's not really begun. I found it very good. Okay. Great tunes, uh, and looking forward to hearing more from you later on. Yeah. So, fanboy here, you were the first act out. How was that for you? <laughs> I, I feel good, you know. Just I just come here and just have fun and show everybody what I'm what I'm, what I'm good at. So. Yeah. It sounded like the raps that you were saying were coming from the heart, really personal things. Yeah, that's what I do, you know. I, I listen to rap, some of the rappers, and then, you know, but for me, I do my own song. And I don't write a song. I just come out and just do it. But well, it's Nigel. He's behind the event, works for People in Action. Why have you decided to create Leeds Young Talent this year? Well, well Leeds Young Talent um, is just part of the whole uh, Learning Disability Week, a week of celebrations that's going on in Leeds. And us as charity, People in Action, along with People Matters, another charity, and Lee City College, we decided to put on an event for young people because we were aware there's so much amazing talent in the city. because the two of the judges from Emmerdale are my favourite ones all together. <laughs> Which was actually a big a big thing and just when I went on stage I thought I wasn't going hit, to hit that high note and I did it. You did, you absolutely smashed it. Obviously with so many people here it's quite nerve wracking presumably. But, but you did amazingly. <laughs> Look who I bumped into. Kerry, what are you doing here? I know, this is weird isn't it? Me being interviewed by you. Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit, it's great, isn't it? How amazing is the night? So good, the acts are absolutely incredible and the judges are being great too. Yeah, and the, and the host as well. Um, no, honestly, sorry. Host honestly, okay. honestly it's, 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 it's been so good. They've been, we've had three contestants so far. They've been absolutely incredible. The Outsiders band that kicked us off, how good were they? Amazing, all of them are amazing, they're so good. Yeah, and we've got three acts left to go. We've also got two other performances. It's gonna be a really good night. I'm excited to see you, I, I couldn't choose. Amazing dancing. I have never seen anybody look so happy. Did you yeah, enjoy it? We did. And how do you think you did? Fab, you and Liz. Well, I think you were fabulous. I think everyone who's performed today is yeah. absolutely fabulous, but you especially did amazingly well done. Yeah. I mean, you have got a lot of like arms and legs and body to dance, but it was very good. Yeah, thank you. I love, I love in the pop in the lockage that you can teach me some moves. Uh, it took me six years to get where I am now, self-taught, but I can arrange something. I yeah, can arrange yeah. something. Everybody in the room was silent. How were you feeling when you went on stage? Really nervous. <laughs> really, you, you actually genuinely could not tell that you were nervous. It was so good. Are you glad that you did it now, though? Yeah. And what was it like, kind of, when you finished? Like, sigh of relief? Yeah. Like this. Great dancing to Run DMC. Great song, takes me back to my youth. Um, how did you find it? Um, my teacher logged it up. You were like cracking out the moves there, like on the floor and up and down and back and two. So much energy. Where do you find it all? Banana milkshake for breakfast. What do you think? How do you think it might go? It's a tough competition. M might be nervous. Well, the talent here at the Leeds Young Talent Festival has been absolutely incredible. We've had break dancers, we've had rappers, we've had contemporary dancers, we've had singers, we've had absolutely all sorts of real variety. Now, the audience is going to get one vote, 
and the other vote goes to the VIP judges. So there will be two winners here tonight, and we're just waiting to find out who's won. I'm doing it. I'm wrapping the envelope, and it's Louise Palin. That's it, Louise! How hard was it to make the decision of who was going to win? Um, it was incredibly hard, and particularly when you saw the whole diversity, it was absolutely just magical, really. But the person that won from the audience vote, um, how his rap was about being individuals and treating people as individuals and having the right to do what you want to do. And for me, I just felt what better message, particularly at this time, that somebody should write that and perform it for us tonight. And I just thought that was brilliant. So, Louise? You won. How are you feeling? Good. Congratulations, Louise. Well done. Amazing dance moves. What was it again? Fab. Fab. You Liz. So George, Louise won. So did Fanboy. How hard was it to make that decision? Really hard. How did you come to it in the end? What swung it for you? Louise's dance moves. Proper sick. You got all the all the street moves down there, cracking them out all night. She really is queen of the dances. Yeah, it's Dancing Queen. So, uh, I honestly don't know how you managed to pick your winners. All six of the performers were absolutely incredible, weren't they? Do you know what they really were? And as soon as the first two were on, I just turned to Zoe. I was like, I do not know how we are going to choose. And we had another four to go. I think the diversity of what everybody was doing, that, it was quite a heated discussion up there because everybody had a different favourite. We actually agreed for once. I, we thought we'd have different favourites, but to be fair, I think I think the audience vote and our vote, I think they, everybody was brilliant. But there was something about Louise's sort of individuality when she was doing hers. And Fanboy, he was so, because he wrote it himself as well, there was so much passion involved in what he was doing. You could see any one of them on that stage for Britain's Got Talent. Do you know what I mean? That's what I was thinking when I was watching it. I'm going to be honest, I couldn't do half of what was done up there. I would not be able to get up and sing like Alice. I definitely can do anything. I any cannot bit. rap like Fanboy, and my dancing skills are nowhere near Louise's. So, to be fair, they're all way ahead of me. You can break dance, though, can't you? Not really. <laughs> can, we, can we have a look? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> so that is it from the Leeds Talent Festival, and we'll be back with plenty more during the rest of the show from all across Learning Disabilities Week.